What's up guys, Greg Bear here of Greg's Halfling Garden Channel and in today's video I want to discuss this one technique I use to control squash borers in all of my squash plants in both of my gardens. With that being said, roll the intro. As you can see, my squash plants are looking beautiful. Like I've said in past videos, I'm in zone 5B, I believe. It's upstate New York. It gets pretty cold here in the winter time. You know, I don't see any crops past beginning of October usually, so that gives you an idea of what we do around here. And like I said, these things look great, but soon the squash borers will start hatching and boring their way through these stems and totally destroying everything. So I'm going to show you what I do to control these. I tried it for the first time last year and my plants lasted at least another month to a month and a half longer than they usually do before they got infested with like powdery mildew and the other diseases that my squash plants usually see. So let's get started. Everything I'm using in today's video you can find at Tractor Supply or probably any other like farm and supply store around the country similar to that. First thing you're going to need is some BT. Got this at Tractor Supply. I think it was $9.99 and still got a ton left in here. It's BT and the other ingredients is like one and a half percent. I don't even know what the other ingredients are. I'm sure it's just water or oil or something, but yep, this stuff works great. And second thing you're going to need, this is where it gets a little weird. People might not want to actually do this because they're afraid of needles, but you're going to need to buy needles. Tractor Supply has these right in the, they're in a glass case somewhere. People use these for their farm animals. I got the largest gauge I could find. I don't remember what it was, honestly. Let me see if I can see it on here. About 16 gauge, one and a half, whatever that means. Oh, one and a half inch, okay. Yeah, so you're gonna need one of these needles. Um, they come in a pack of like five of these syringes and five of the needles. They're gonna last you forever because it's not like a, you need it to be super sterile. So you can reuse these a little bit. You can wash them out, bleach them out if you want. It's not like you're using them on a person or anything. So that's what you need. This BT and a needle. And what we're gonna do is actually take the BT, put it in the needle, and we're gonna inject the BT right down here in the stem because the squash borers always start way down here. So if you inject it a little higher up than you think the squash borer is gonna start, it's gonna try to work its way up. It's gonna start here and get up to the part where the BT is, eat some of that, and then it's gonna to totally destroy its stomach and it'll likely kill it pretty fast. <laughs> and of course the squash borer moth only has one egg laying cycle a year. So if you destroy the squash borer in the one plant, it's done for the whole year and you're good for the year after that, which is pretty awesome. So this is a really effective thing if you get it right ahead of time before the squash borers get in there and destroy the stem a little too much. So. That's why I'm doing it right now before I even see any of the frass that you usually see. If you're familiar with the squash borers, you'll see like the initial hole and you'll start seeing that little bit of brown like gunk coming along here. And then of course you slowly see your stem split open and then your plant drooping and then it dies. So we're going to get this injected and save these plants for the whole year. Let's do it. And I pretty much like to use half of this. This is a three milliliter, so I use like one and a half milliliters per. As long as you get that cavity nice and full and get all the tissue inside there covered in BT, so as soon as the squash borer touches that and eats it, it's gonna die. And that's really all you need. This is a pretty short video. I'm not gonna show you a time lapse of me doing all these. That's kind of boring. Just wanted to give you guys this quick tip on how to do that. Like I said, it worked very good last year and it's probably gonna work really good this year because I'm doing it even further ahead of time than I did last year. Last year I did it once the frass started and it controlled it pretty well. It got rid of a lot of the squash borers, but this year I'm going wild with it. I'm like a month ahead of what I did last year, so I'm expecting really good results with this. And just another tip, of course, if you guys row any kind of squash, you probably get those too. 
the squash, they're just like squash beetles. They kind of look like stink bugs. I just take some like packing tape or gorilla tape, throw it on here and it sticks them right off the plant and then you crush them or burn them, whatever you want to do with those. Because these little guys, they will suck like all the chlorophyll out of these leaves and totally destroy them so fast. So got to stay ahead of those. I think their breeding cycle can last all summer. So it's something you have to keep up on. Like I just did this about a week ago and there's some more right there. So definitely got to take care of that once I'm done filming this video. And with that being said, if you guys found this video informative, definitely consider subscribing to the Greg's Halfling family. Become one of my halflings. If you want to stay in the know for all my future uploads, make sure to turn on that notification bell and make sure to set the notifications on always. And of course, definitely consider giving this video a like. And I hope to see you guys all next adventure. Greg Bear out.